I'm standing just to the south of the old church here on Jamestown Island. This is a reconstructed church, but Jamestown's last churches stood on this ground. This area here where I'm standing, we've opened up a 20 foot by 20 foot archaeological excavation. And unsurprisingly, due to our proximity to the church, we are finding many burials, grave shafts. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how we as archaeologists identify burials. So let's uh, take a look. So as archaeologists, what we're doing is we're looking for areas of disturbed soil. In other words, we're looking for places where the colonists dug holes and filled them in. In this particular case with grave shafts, what we often see are soil stains where the disturbed soil is roughly six feet long, maybe two feet wide, um, and oriented east-west. Now that's very, the orientation is very important because that would be the proper uh, orientation for a Christian burial. So if you take a look at this right before me, we have a grave shaft here, and the, uh, this one is about six feet long, close to two feet wide. That would mean we're dealing with uh, an adult extended burial here. The fill composition is mixed. You have orange clays and you have some darker loam, so more organic soil, all mixed together. That tells us that something happened here. Now, as far as uh, the outline of it, well, you can see the grave shaft soil contrasts quite, quite a bit with the undisturbed soil around it. So where the grave is, again, is where the orange soil is. All right, so what are we planning to do with these grave shafts in this area right here to the south of the church? The answer is uh, we're just going to photograph them all, and we're going to map them, but we are not going to excavate into these grave shafts. They date to uh, the late 17th century, early 18th century, and that is outside of the current research focus of the Jamestown Rediscovery Project. Our, the current focus of this project is the James Fort period, which dates from 1607 to about 1624. So we'll be able to at least mark these graves at some point in the future. We now know where they are. We now know how many there are.